up you guys a trucking man so the link is in the description box below from suicide to trucking I've been getting a lot of emails people asking me how I overcame my depression um, I didn't want that video to be too long so I didn't really get too much into that I just gave you an introduction basically to it I mean it goes a hell of a lot deeper than just what's in that video I mean all of us with our stories of depression and overcoming it are still going through it like it's long man it's it's a lot and for those of you who don't know what depression is like it is just it feels like not like you're fallen but like you are just in this hole that you just can't get out of right you get stuck in this mindset and you can't get out of it for a while. Sometimes it takes a few hours, sometimes it takes a day, sometimes two days, some people are worse, man, and they need medication. Now, I am not a doctor, I'm not a professional, right, of, of any kind as far as that. I've studied some psychology, and you know, that's about it, but I don't have no doctor degree, no, no nothing like that, so this is, I'm going based, right now you're going based off of my opinion okay so I just want to put that out there but your depression okay is a chemical imbalance we probably all you all probably know that and how you turn that around okay is you have to change your mindset and live a healthier lifestyle well how do you do that change what you're eating right when you change up your daily routine okay it drastically improves your not only your quality of life but your mindset okay by doing something different you change your mindset you change your attitude you start feeling better you throw off the demon inside you know what I'm saying but it takes work okay educate yourself about depression okay it's not that complicated know your enemy that's half the battle know your enemy so mindset and your health and wellness that's all it takes you guys me I got really into taking vitamins um, I started with ashwagandha because it's though it's not proven to improve uh, anxiety people have been using it for millions of, for thousands of years okay for a long time so I, I took I started taking ashwagandha I started taking care of my sexual health uh, I use saw palmetto Right, it's for the uh, salt palmetto. I believe is is for the prostate, and you know I take ginkgo biloba. I took an alpha male alpha male XL vitamin, which is a a male supplement. It's it's just a vitamin. It's not get hard and all this. It's nothing like that. I used horny goat weed for a while. Um, I take a brain health vitamin, a heart health vitamin, you know, and take my zinc lots of vitamins lots of vitamins I believe I still have a video that I made sometime back then and I'm gonna look for it and see if I I, I, might, I might have deleted it I'm not sure but if I find it I'll put it in the in the uh, description box below a link to that video so you can see what kind of vitamins I was taking but I started off with the vitamins I drank a lot of tea mostly green tea during the day with honey okay and and always go with your local honey okay let's uh, honey in general is good but when you go with the local stuff you know it uh, it acts like an, an antihistamine as well so if you got allergies or anything like that you know it's it helps it's it's a it's a natural uh, it's a natural medicinal option for your allergies if you happen to have that but um, like I said mindset I also believed that it would make me better like I said mindset is everything so when it comes to depression as you all know if you experience it you you experience these super super lows well we all come out of those lows we always do so when you do that's the time to strike okay when you're in those low low lows always be talking to somebody okay keep your mind busy it's and don't think about it don't reflect on it move the f on okay move the hell on to be honest with you my woman seeing her come home used to make me feel so much better you have no idea 
made me feel a hell of a lot better. Just, just seeing her come home used to save me. Um, moving on. Um, yeah. It, it did. She's a really good woman. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, the vitamins, right? I'm going to make a list of them and put them in the description box below so that you guys can see what I was taking. And you can take the same if you like. It's up to you. So then your mindset. I got into meditation. And uh, there's something I used to repeat to myself. Okay, because it's all about changing how you think, your mindset. You have to change that. So chants are good, right? Chanting. And what I used to say was, God created me in his image. Therefore, I am like a God. God created me in his image. Therefore, I am a God. God created me in his image. Therefore, I am like a God. And also focus on becoming the best version of yourself that you possibly can become. And those are the two things I used to repeat to myself because garbage in, garbage out, positive in, positive out. That's basic psychology. You are the one that has to pull yourself out of this, but you don't have to do it alone. As you can see, me, I had somebody that would come, you know, that was in my life that would change my mental state of mind. Now, in the end, it doesn't come down to a person saving you, okay? It's you. It's you. Take whatever it is that you love and let that be your symbol of love. Think of someone you have to live for. There is always somebody out there that's going to miss you. And if there isn't, then you contact me, okay? I have an email. I'll give you my phone number. Whatever you need, whatever you want. Okay? Know that. So, that's how I started overcoming depression. And I would drink tea every single day, every single night. At night, it was chamomile and, you know, mixed with honey. You know, I'd put like, a, uh, like two tea bags of chamomile and a cinnamon stick. Delicious. And, you know, during the day, you know, especially if I started having negative thoughts, I would, uh, you know, green tea and honey. Local honey. Always local honey, guys, okay? Best stuff. Local honey. Don't go with any generic from wherever the hell, Timbuktu. Just lo your local honey. That works. And uh, another thing that I did was I bought plants. You have no idea how much it can change the aura in your house or room just by putting a plant there, you know, a cheap little waterfall, just hearing that something other than the silence of the house. Another thing I did was I listened to some of my favorite bands. Avenged Sevenfold was a big, big part of my, uh, my list, my, uh, my hit list, my music hit list, right? Avenged Sevenfold, they were a big part of it. <clears throat> um, and then I used to get out there and hike and camp a lot on my own. I summited Mount Baldy a few times in California. You know, I just got myself out there when I wasn't in those low, low lows. I got out there in nature. Nature has such a healing capability. It has, it has such a healing capability and it can change your life. We are a part of nature. Nature is a part of us. That's just the way it is. So anyways, you guys, I don't want to make this video too long. We're approaching 10 minutes. My, my buddy just arrived, so I'm going to go out there and talk to him right now. And yeah, I'm not going to harp too much more on this. If you have any questions, email me, comment down below. I want to hear your stories of you overcoming this ugly little monster with teeth, right? But you're going to punch its teeth out. You're going to win. And that's all there is to it. In life, we're, 
no matter what, we're either going into a storm, coming out of a storm, or we're already in a storm. That's just the way life is. Sometimes the storm is horrible, sometimes it's extremely manageable, and other times it ain't shit, you know? So that's just the way life is. You can turn it around. <sighs> yes, you can. A trucking man. You guys take care, stay safe. I'll see you on the road.